Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, and on this episode of Baking with Ryan, I'm going to be making an extreme Reese's Peanut Butter Cupcake. So basically what this cake is, it's a four layer chocolate cake frosted with peanut butter frosting, topped with chocolate ganache drips, and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. The ingredients you'll need are four 8 inch chocolate cakes, some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, peanut butter, unsalted butter, powdered sugar, some chocolate sprinkles, chocolate chips, heavy cream, and vanilla extract. To make your peanut butter frosting, add your butter and peanut butter to the bowl of a stand mixer. Turn your mixer up to high speed and mix for three minutes. Turn your mixer down to low speed and slowly add in your powdered sugar. When your frosting looks like this, you can start drizzling in your heavy cream. The amount of cream you add all depends on how thick you want your frosting to be. The less you add, the thicker the frosting will be. Now that the frosting's made, we can start assembling the cake. Begin by spreading some buttercream on your cake board to secure down your first cake layer. Fill your cake using some peanut butter frosting and the number 789 piping tip. Spread out the frosting with an offset spatula and repeat the process with your other cake layers. Using your number 789 piping tip, pipe stripes of frosting along the sides of your cake. Now spread out the frosting with an offset spatula to form a crumb coat. The sides of your cake are now crumb coated so we can move on to the top of the cake. Spread out the frosting just like you did on the sides of your cake and pop your cake in the freezer for about 10 minutes. To make the chocolate ganache drips, first add your chocolate chips to a bowl. Then bring some heavy cream to a simmer. When the cream is simmering, you can pour it over your chocolate chips. Let the mixture sit for two minutes and give the mixture a stir with a wooden spoon. Now put your ganache in the fridge to thicken up and pour it in a squeeze bottle. Then you can make your ganache drips. To change the size of your drips, just squeeze the bottle with more or less pressure. Take some chocolate sprinkles and press them around the bottom edge of your cake. Fill in the top of your cake with some more chocolate ganache and spread it out with a spatula. Lastly, decorate the top of your cake. I just took some peanut butter frosting and put it in a piping bag and now I'm going to make some frosting rosettes. To make the cake even more extreme, place Reese's peanut butter cups in between the frosting rosettes. To ensure that the Reese's peanut butter cups don't fall over, I cut off the bottom quarter of the Reese's peanut butter cup and placed it down on the ganache. And now your cake is done. This cake is seriously one of the most delicious cakes that I've ever made. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Help me get to 400 subscribers. Thanks for watching.